Hey, gang. Welcome to the Are You Garbage Comedy Podcast. Please make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episodes as they come out. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is, baby. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy, or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Take five. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a glorious day down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. We're back here in New York City after a week of running around the Ooh. South. We couldn't Yeehaw. be happier. We're going to talk about it a little bit, but my co-host is coming at you from across the table at me. Uh-huh. He's got the uh, he's got the Chase corporate card, so I call him Mr. Ryan. Sure, you folks know him as Kippy, mm-hmm. but his mama named him. Kevin James. Hey, gang. What's up? Happy to be here. Thanks for fucking tuning in. The Ooh. kids are coming off a hot week. Thanks for tuning in and showing, showing up. Showing up. You, you saved us from looking like a couple of bozos <laughs> down south, gang. Uh, as always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Full video available on YouTube. And as, oh, yeah. you, as you know, those numbers are true to roof. True to roof. True to roof. As well as Patreon.com. Those numbers are also true to fucking roof. Yikes. Uh, go to Patreon.com. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of Are You Garbage. You get episodes of Hard Feelings, which is me and Foley fucking, you know, oh, yeah. having a good time. A little behind the curtain. Some HR we get do. Get four of those a month you get. Four of them a month. Yeah. We That's do those, $1.50 an episode. We something. do those weekly. And then uh, uh, every month, at the end of every month, we'll do an AYG live stream where we play with our top two tier members. Which is coming up. We're going to have a nice Woo! fun one for April there, here. Listen, if you're in and you're not sure, they're a good time. We have a couple of beers. Everybody's drinking. We're asking you guys questions. You're asking us questions. We also it's a it's a it's a it's an eclectic bunch we got in there too. Love the <laughs> shit out of them, but there's some wacko. It's a good time. There are kinds of people. And, I'll tell and, you that. and one <laughs> one I guess relatively normal guy <laughs> crept in at the first time. He goes, at the end he goes, I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but it's a good time. He had like a business suit on that guy. Oh, it was fantastic. Guys, thank you so much. We fucking love you, and we're back, baby. We love you. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire? What a lot of who people, that? A lot of people don't know in. Um, when he's not producing the show, he's an absolutely fantastic fucking stand-up comedian. Kid's got some chops. We love him. He also likes to go and watch uh, indie rock bands that are on independent labels. Sure. With uh, what he calls his homies. Homie. He's a big homie guy. <laughs> and also, too, he has the <laughs> large intestine of a North American grizzly bear. <laughs> And he likes to rip jewels in the back of uh, domestic flights. Yeah. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Kobe McMullen. Hey, Stinky. What up? Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh. Man. I lost a security deposit on the Airbnb because of For this a guy. little package. I don't know what's going on in there. You like that? That's like one of those sushi conveyor belts that goes around, <laughs> but they just never replace the sushi. Yeah. Kid's sour. <laughs> I cannot believe you're calling me stinky. You ripped a fart in Nashville that was like a gas leak, dude. I think it was outside, too. <laughs> the neighbors had to evacuate. It was under un- the fire truck showed up. It was crazy. <laughs> Never mind. It's just Foley. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> the paint was peeling off outside of Zany's. You didn't clear a room. You cleared a house Ooh. and a yard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You two are animals, to be yeah. honest with you. I, on the other hand, am a gentleman. That's true. That's true. Yes, you are, sir. Ten <laughs> percent, yeah, gang. I had my little shoes off on the porch at Nashville. <laughs> I've only got to look at my. Oh my, uh, folks! <laughs> we're gonna post a picture on Patreon. I, <laughs> I don't hope. know. I don't know. These he's things, all right with it, man. These th- I've never seen a toe this long in my life. They're big. They're I've big never boys. seen some penises aren't as long <laughs> as this guy's. Fu- I don't think my penis is as long as his big toe. He's got some fucking gangly, gangly extremities. This Man. Guy. Yeah. Man. Fucking play piano with those things. <laughs> Tickle the ivories. <laughs> Gang, if you haven't, uh, if you can't tell by now, this is a family episode. Oh, yeah. All right? This is just us. It's just you. We thought coming back from a long trip, you know, best thing to do, circle the you wagons act like, a little You bit. act like it was like the Oregon Trail. We were gone for 48 hours. <laughs> back from a long trip. It wasn't even a weekend. Was there an actual Oregon Trail or was that just a video game? No, was, there was a, I'm sure it was based on a, you know. I know the Donner Party. I don't know if they were on the Oregon Trail. Donner they they party. ate each other in the woods somewhere. 
No, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that was Atari about. before you guys died. I don't know. I was a big Oregon Trail guy. <laughs> So we're going to get into it. We're going to answer you guys' questions. Yeah. As you know, if you sign up on Patreon, you get your question answered on the air. But before we do that, What's now, that? we're saving most of the discussion of the trip, okay, from the first part of the tour. If you don't know, we're on tour right now. We're going to be going back out in June. We've got a lot of dates coming up. Make sure you check it Atlantic out. Atlantic City, June 18th, next that's date. Right. And that's right. That's going to fucking sell. Yeah, that's that, going to sell out. We just got the numbers. It's fucking creeping. Yeah, it's, it's close. So get them now. So make a move, all right? It's going to be fun. But we're going to talk about the trip and his toes and his gas and fucking me and chicken sandwiches and the great time that we had on Hard Feelings. That's a Hard Feelings episode. But, yeah. we, but before we get into the episode, we just want to say to Raleigh, to Nashville, to all the fucking fans that came out, that, that came out, that you know we, got, we were able to get pics with, that brought us fucking t-shirts, that brought us bobbleheads. We fucking love you guys. Yeah, guys. It, we love you. It was unbelievable. We didn't know if it was all going to work. We didn't know... If playing Are You Garbage with the audience at the end of the show is going to work. Oh, it's a fucking grand fucking slam. Good night. Yeah, that's a fucking way to close the show, Good baby. night. Uh, Yo, that shit's fire, that dude. Shit, dude. That shit was fucking, that shit was something else. You uh, guys are fucking hysterical. I want to say that. Yes. Your questions were unbelievable. We had such a fun time. We want to say thank you. Yeah, guys, thank you so fucking much. It was uh, a surreal fucking two, three days, whatever it was. Uh, I, like, we were speechless. Me and the big man... Before we got on the plane, we shared a hug and a cry. It was a fucking. We were. I think he's close right now. To be honest with you, nah, that. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just don't mention Schultz. You start talking about <laughs> Schultz, I'm gonna get all teary eyed. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, it was a surreal moment. Fucking ten years of getting kicked in the dick. Kicked in the dick. To fucking go down to Raleigh and Nashville and have people come out and fucking meet everybody mm-hmm. and fucking hug and fucking making out with each other. We found you. Picks we finally found us each gifts. other. There was a, there was one couple that came up to us like oh, an hour and a, that, an man? hour and a half before Raleigh. They got there. They came from out of town. They got there early. Me and Foley out out front catching a couple of bone Bernies. Couple T, of Bernies. T bones in there setting up the cameras, doing what T Bone does. And they come up. They're like, "Hey guys, can we just ask? You know, is it out of hand or what? Are you, or you know, is it out of line if we ask you for a picture real quick?" And we were like. Foley's like, you're our first fucking fans. I like, thought they were going to tell us not to smoke in front of the building. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't from around here, are you, boy? That, that's, where, that's where my self-esteem's yeah. at. But not after this. But they were like, hey, listen, we just, we're huge fans. We want to take pictures. And we were like, I'll fuck yeah. Like, I, we loved th- it. This is, I want to take pictures with you guys. We love you. <laughs> Can we get pictures of you? Yeah. yeah. We love so you. So then they were like, hey, they were like, listen, we're going to go around the corner and really geek out after this. I'm like, we're going to go back in the green room yeah. and fucking ball tap each other like little schoolboys. We were fucking giddy. Fantastic. It was an awesome trip. Thank you so much. And we can't wait to meet everybody else out on the road. And I'm telling you, get these picks. live shows, I don't like to toot my own horn. No. But we don't. these live shows are fucking something else. Yeah. First at bat, put that motherfucker in the fucking parking lot. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was fucking, it was a great time. I fucking love every single one of you. I can't can't wait to meet everybody. It's a fucking, you guys are the best. All yeah. right, enough of the fucking Oshie enough Gucci stuff. Now back to business. Back to the trash. We got some psycho questions here that we got to get to. Kippy forgot his computer, by the hey, way. Yeah, I feel naked, by the way. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> uh, also, by the way, I forget whose question it was, but it was if you have a, if you have a flip case on your phone, you're trash, which yeah. I feel those are trash. A direct shot at me, by yeah, the way. Trash. Because um, who do you think you are? I like it's because extra- you like to do the flip. You love to do the flip. Sorry, what's that? Yeah, you do. You love no, to do I because I don't like carrying wallets, so I'm going to transfer to this, and then uh, that's insane to me that you would put. That's that. That's garbage. That's less garbage than my mom using a Ziploc bag to put her credit cards and fucking bank cards and keys and cough drops in. You put all your shit in there. You lose it. You're done. Yeah, and now dude, you, you, you call fucking Chase, you call TD Bank, tell them to fuck you. They're, I have the apps, I You got responsibilities it. now, it's not just you. You lose that thing, I'm in trouble. <laughs> what you, you're in trouble to begin with, big guy. I don't. I hate to break it to you. I just tried to explain corporate accounting to Foley, and god damn. I don't get it. Was it. Like, it was like fucking waterboarding myself. <laughs> I don't get it. I Foley, don't get it. counter argument, I'm not chemically addicted to my wallet. I'm way more likely just to lose my wallet than I am my cell phone that I'm checking every five, True. six minutes. True. My he, cell phone, I don't, you don't, I haven't, I don't think I've ever lost a cell phone. He likes to watch his bands and go to get the tickets for the shows yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And, and touch base with the homies. And the homies. And the homies. Hey, that's the homie. Becoming uh, my new all right, favorite word. This is, uh, it's the best. While we're on the subject, this is a perfect segue into the first question, guys. So as you know, when you sign up for Patreon, we'll get, we'll, we'll answer your garbage questions. Kind of the best way to do it. We also pull some from the Facebook, but. Uh, when you join Patreon, we'll answer your questions. It's just the best way to, to go back to getting to everybody's questions. Mm-hmm. 
Um, this is from Steve Isaacs. Did your mom use her cleavage as a purse for a cell phone, Bernie's lighter, et cetera? That's real dog the bounty hunter wife shit. Well, she used to pull out like a fucking stun gun and pepper spray out of them things. You talking about the titty bank? Oh, the titty bank. Dude. That's a fucking. No. I don't that's... think my, I don't think, you know, I, I don't want to speak bad about it, but I don't think Denise, yeah, that's a, I don't know. It was only She's bigger. She's got a handful. She's it right. was only bigger broads that would do that. It was like big, boisterous, blonde broads would do that. Here's the only exception. Girls that would hit you with an uppercut really packing <laughs> yeah. their shit in there. They have a Rolling Stones tongue right there. Yes, on yes, body. yes, yeah. yeah. Um, no, she never did that. Do you the do it? <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out a microphone. You got all the T-shirt money in here? <laughs> you got all the T-shirts in there? <laughs> The only time that's acceptable is, I would say, from 1981 to 1995. And I feel you got to be at, like, the beach or a concert. 100%. percent you can No, concert. First of all, my mom's not going to a concert. Wait, your mom was doing it on the beach? I'm saying that's where you would do it if you were at the pool or you were at the... Because we went to a community pool when we were Quit kids. bragging. <laughs> and if the ice cream man showed up, yeah. fucking Patty better make with the fucking ones. Make with real, the cage. Yeah. With that pity sweat on If I got to chase this guy down the street, I'm going to need an extra Choco Taco <laughs> and a screwball. <laughs> to get my to head get right. My, to get my fucking... My bearings back. <laughs> yeah, get my legs back under yeah. me. I need a post-workout fucking... <laughs> post-workout... Uh, still got my sea legs. Strawberry shortcake. Um... That would be the only time, but no. Hey, dude, I've seen fucking waitresses do that. Ugh. Not at strip clubs. Yeah. Pull change out of your fucking wet titty. Bad. Just smell it? Sure. I mean, the only... <sighs> putting it in your shoe. Is Ugh. <laughs> I had to do that as a kid. If you had, like, basketball shorts or whatever, you got to fucking, fucking put, a, put a fiver in there. Marty Funkhauser <laughs> over here. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. Back in the day, pockets, when you were a kid... Imagine not having pockets now as an adult. Oh, it's crazy. But like as a kid, you're like, I don't have any pockets. Can you hold? You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you no doing with all your gear, dude? Where are the Bernies at? <laughs> we used to jock our shit, we called it. Whereas like if you had, um, it would go, like say you had basketball shorts on mm -hmm. and boxers. This is like pre-boxer, but if you had like the, the puffy baggy boxers, they would be above. So the shorts would stop here. Then the boxers would stop here. Yeah. And you put like your SIGs. And lighter in there. If you didn't have, sh if you didn't have pockets, what in county? Like where the fuck? No, if you were like when you're out for the day, yo, stuff this in your ass. The CO's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I never, I, I wasn't smoking at 13 like you. I was a cool fucking kid. What do you? What I didn't do you start want? smoking until after, after, after like your college football days. We've all heard the stories. High school. Lower the lights. Days. Light a cig, huh? <laughs> Foley's about to get into the varsity years. I was. I, 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 I didn't have a pack of cigarettes on me when I was shooting hoops. I mean, we were fucking, we were mature kids. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Instead of taking water breaks, we were ripping Marlboro Mustaches miles. Mustaches and divorces. <laughs> here, comes my, here comes this bitch to get her alimony money. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's garbage, man. I'm not saying it's class. <laughs> Foley's eating ice cream. Kippy's down by the docks finding a dead body. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ooh. Dewey Lachance or whatever his, <laughs> whatever his name. Dewey Lachance. <laughs> whatever Corey Feldman's name was in Stand By Me. Oh. His name, I know it was Lachance. I don't know what his first name was. I don't know if it was Dewey. Um, the only thing that I could slightly connect to that with is for a little while in the early 80s, there was two sneaker craze that swept over. This is pre-Jordans, pre-name you know name brands. You uh -huh. know what I mean? You might have a Nike or two, but what were big for dirt bags. You're old enough to have shoes pre-name brand? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the white ones. <laughs> well, the cobbler came around the farm about every six months. You can have any color you want, as long as it's black. <laughs> the Model T. No, we had um, uh, a company called Wildcats. Which was the big sneak? I remember Wildcats oh, from back in the day. They were hot. I mean, I never. They were more of a TJ Maxx brand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For for you know, for poor kids. Dude, remember T T getting shoes? I we had to do it a couple of times. Like shoes at TJ, they were just like in a bin, and you had to like dig through the bin, and they were like connected with that plastic thing. It was a real tough. It look. was a dude. It was a real. The looking ice. back on it now, who the fuck cares? But I know. Man, so there was some of those trips with back to school stuff that I'd be like, damn, we're fucking broke. <laughs> <laughs> Like, am I going to get lunch money tomorrow? Yeah. Or am I putting it, about to put it on my feet? Yeah, save the kids. But no, there was... Uh, I'll take the pizza bagel tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear a flip-flop as long as I can get my Otis Spunks. Um, kangaroos. 
Oh, which had yeah. a zipper on the side of the pocket. You used to fucking tuck a on couple, the shoe. Yeah, you used to tuck a couple of quarters couple in there. Of bu- a couple of bucks. Yeah, in case you came across a pack of Doritos that you had <laughs> had your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the vending machine. Yeah, which was big. Which was after you. And I think we might have touched on it at one point. Was the Muskas. The Chad Muska skate shoes. With a stash pocket in the tongue. The, the tongue. Because remember skate shoes had like the big, he, they had a big tongue and a zipper on it. Muska's. It, it was his name, Chad Muska. Oh, that sounds and, like something a deer emits when it's, <laughs> when it's, when it's running. Stop. <laughs> I smell Muska's. <laughs> but they had a zip and you could fit like, they claimed you could fit like an eighth and a skate tool and a lighter in there or something. Like all whatever you needed. Yeah. In the commercial? No, it wasn't a commercial. It was very, like, tongue-in-cheek, no pun intended. It was very, like, you know, hey, this is for extra bearings or it's whatever. to put your dope. It was to put your fucking hash in there, baby. Well, your your s- Chiba, your Panama Red. While well, you're skateboarding on public property. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was big. I remember my boy Pat. He still denies this, but he came up to me, and he's like, he had just gotten the muskets, and he came up to me in, like, eighth grade hallways. Like, dude, I'm packing. I'm like, get out of my face, <laughs> you fucking dork. You want some bubble tape? <laughs> <laughs> I got Jolly Ranchers in here. Ooh, I love a Jolly Ranch. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, excellent damn. fucking question, man. This next one is, it really, I don't, the feeling, the smell, everything got to me, and I've never thought of this. This is from, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it, Piravine. Um, Pyravine, uh, at a public pool or water park, have you ever laid on the concrete to warm up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I can feel that now. Like a salamander in the <laughs> Serengeti. Are you kidding me? The kids, really bacon, dude. The kids do that now. It's so funny you mention that, but like my nephew, my niece, and like- all- You can't do it as an adult. Let's say that. No. You can't be fucking 32 <laughs> laying down next to the pool. Laying down on a tennis court? <laughs> Really soaking it in. Um, they'll go out to the driveway and bring their towels to to, to, yeah. to dry. Yeah, and oh, dude, there's nothing because I'm I'm very attached to smell. Like I, like you know, nostalgic purposes. I would have never thought. <laughs> but I used to love, like you know, like I would like get down in the street and smell like the fresh asphalt. Asphalt after it rains in the summer, oh. that smell when it's still hot, but kind of cool. Oh, baby. A little slice that's of America. So, that's it. Apple pie and wet cotton. Yeah, that's what Kenny wet Rogers was off. singing about right there. I'll tell you that right now. Good <laughs> night. That little fresh cut grass mixed in. Maybe a fucking couple of, couple of burgers on the grill. Good night and goodbye. Now you got some sparklers coming after dinner, too. I love it. But I know the combination of chlorine water and... Um, and cement, like, you know, on sidewalk, nothing like it. It's clean living, baby. Clean living. That's, dude, I, ne- I hadn't that's thought about that. That's after you took a trip tr- over by the fucking jet in the, in the pool. Put your the little way. stinger by yeah. there, yeah. That's, that was, that was the, the kid's version of having a smoke after you fucking <laughs> after you pulled it in the pool. <laughs> I'm going to get to second base with the jets, then go lay in the driveway. I'll, I'll be back in about an hour. <laughs> I'm going to run out and smell the sidewalk. <laughs> Anybody else want to go and smell the sidewalk? <laughs> Get something to eat afterwards. I'm drained. <laughs> Foley really likes the shallow end of the pool. Uh, <laughs> I thought uh, when I did that as a kid, I thought I was on to something. <laughs> yeah. I thought you thought no, no one knew what you were no, doing. These guys were all idiots. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over you here. You guys are down on the diving board. The action's in the shallow. <laughs> hey, they should be charging for this. I don't know. There should be 25 of these. Hey, you guys up. can be diving for rings all you want. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here getting my knob slobbed. <laughs> By Mr. Thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, T? You didn't do it. Yours couldn't fit, probably. <laughs> yeah. This guy had to find a manhole he cover. Had to do it in the fire hydrant. <laughs> he had to go to the heights in the summer. Toby, get out of that storm drain. <laughs> it's clogged up. No, honestly, what I was thinking about when KB said diving for rings, there is <sighs> no scrape like the scrape of a bottom of a pool oh. on a face. There's something in that concrete. <laughs> the face. That's, Dude, but the it's, the, it's the face. It's the face. <laughs> I've done it. 
Do I hitting it? It's this weird sensation. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it stings. It makes a weird noise yeah. under the water. Ooh, summer's right around the corner. I can't wait. Oh, man, it's going to be a good summer. Kids got a couple of bucks in their pockets, <laughs> going on a road. It's oh, going to yeah. be a hot one. No more day jobs for Kippy. Slip and slides for everybody. Yeah, take that, accounting department. Kippy's free this summer. Goodbye. Hey, gang, real quick, want to talk to you about one of our favorite new sponsors here on the show, Lucy Nicotine. Oh, yeah. Lucy Nicotine is a company founded by Caltech scientists and former smokers looking for a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. A couple of brainiacs on the case. A couple of smart kids working the ones and twos, I'll tell you that, gang. And finally, we have a brand new tobacco alternative that doesn't suck. Yeah. Because we know they all stink. These guys researched and developed for the last three years and made this product for people, not patients. They know you're a human being, and they want to get it to you, and they want to get it to you right. Lucy has created nicotine gum with four milligrams of nicotine Ooh. that comes in three amazing flavors. You got wintergreen. You got cinnamon. And if you like it a little bit on the fruity side, yeah. which I know I do. Yep. Try pomegranate. Class it up a little bit. And that ain't it, baby. They also have a lozenge and four milligrams of nicotine in the cherry ice flavor, baby. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> cherry ice and everything nice. Each and every flavor actually tastes great. It's convenient and it's discreet. Products can be enjoyed anywhere, on flights, at work, office, to go. Wherever you are, you can do it. Nobody's got to know. Don't got to step outside like a... Even the gym, baby. Whatever you're doing, you could be on a stairmaster doing this. Nobody's got to know you're getting, you know, you're, uh, you're getting, getting a little your, nicotine fix. Yeah, feeling um, good. They sent us some, and we absolutely love it. Delicious. We're all hooked on the Bernies. Everybody knows we're trying to get off. It's it's a way better substitute than most people than anything I've ever really had. Hundred percent. I was never a big fan of the gum. I've done it in the past. This stuff is different. They're playing with it's, they're playing with house money over here. They do it right. Yeah, so guys, check it out. It's 2021. Get rid of your cigarettes. Unplug your vape. Throw out your dip and get some Lucy nicotine gum or lozenges. It's the way to go. It's the real deal, baby. A, sus a subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. It's so simple and easy. You don't have to be at your house. It delivers everything. All comes automatic. You know, automatic. You don't have to do nothing. Are you garbage listeners? Go to Lucy.co and use promo code garbage to get 20% off all all the products on your first order, including gum and lozenges. That's lucy.co and use promo code garbage at the checkout. Also, I have to give this disclaimer a warning. This product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Guys, that's lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code garbage. Fucking fantastic. Well, those those are why we do this show. Something like that to oh, take yeah. me back, baby. Oh, that's yeah. the fucking oh, yeah. that's the juice right there. Um, this is from Gary. Ever left a restaurant because there was no prices on the menu? <laughs> uh, I can't say I've ever even. Uh, no, no. I've no. been probably a hand. I've not gone because when I looked at the website, there was no prices. I've never not done that. I've, I've You've never not done that. I've never known, knowingly gone in and the whole menu be fucking... Oh, of course not. You yeah. wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. <clears throat> Something really fucked up has to happen for the Foley's to have the, um, the non-social anxiety <laughs> to get up and leave I would restaurant. never leave. I would, I would just go like, oh, I'm not going to pay rent. I'm going to pay rent late or whatever. Yeah. Or I'll get the appetizer and a drink and make it look like I'm supposed to be here. We go out on a corner and get a fucking dog or something. Yeah, my dad would never. He he. he I'd be too embarrassed to leave. Yeah, for, for any, social anxiety. for any reason. If like you're waiting for a long time for service, it would take a good forty five minutes before my parents got up and left. I would think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. would be too embarrassed to leave. Because mm -hmm. there's something I don't know why. There's something weird about it. It's happened to me on a date before. What? She showed up to a place. Like, this place looks nice. A date with a girl. No price on the menu. And How did like, you get into a place like that? With yeah. the way you carry yourself, no the haircut, shit. the clothes. What were you wearing that they let you in? Uh, they must have been like, oh, he must be early Bitcoin adopter or something. <laughs> I, I walked in. I said, I develop apps. I'll have your clothes Yeah, available. something. You went under the guy. They must have been like, oh, someone's here. And then when you tipped them 15 cents yeah, on a, a $400 for bill. for a restaurant. It's still launching. <laughs> um, That's bad. But did you roll out? No, I just, I just spit the I, bullet. Just, just, just outside, just like, oh, this place is great. Inside, sweat. Mm -hmm. Sure, I mean it's, it's a real fucking douchebag thing to to do. And and you know, I mean, the restaurant business has changed so much that I don't think too many people are doing it now. You got to have a lot of balls and be pretty good to be pulling that shit off. What? There's no. not many restaurants that do that now. Sure. There's also too. 
my wife's very, like, she'll look at, I'm just so blue-collar trash. Like, we don't we don't have refined palates or anything. You know what I mean? Like, that sure. if something is market price on a menu or doesn't have a pro like, I'm saying you go to a regular restaurant, everything's there's, lined up, but there's, like, three or four things that are market price. Yeah, there's or, the box seats down yeah. at the fucking bottom <laughs> yeah, of the yeah, menu. Yeah, the owner's yeah. box. Yeah, the fucking yeah, VIPs. Club level, baby. Yeah. That yeah. the Ryans don't, well, no way. But we've I've worked in enough restaurants to know that those last couple of things, there's only a few things that are acceptable for it to be. Sure. Lobster. It can't be the mac and cheese or something. No, yeah. No. yeah. What, sometimes, what, some, sometimes. What did macaroni close out today? Yeah, that's a Goldman. Shit. That's a Goldman line, by oh, the way. It? Yeah. <laughs> what did crustacean co- close out today, by the way? <laughs> Wait, that's like my scallop bit. Goldman! <laughs> um, yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be. You know, it's got to be the standard. Sure, it's, it's usually head. it's usually like you know uh, the surf and turf or the lobster or whatever. But my wife really, she's got no problem fucking sniffing around the owner's box. Yeah, she goes right in. Oh, what's this? What do I think that? And I'm just like, you don't even. That's how they get you. You don't look at that. That's interesting. You bring that up because I I was thinking about that just um, this Thursday night. Um, we got back uh, into town mm-hmm. on Thursday. I'm familiar. Uh, I was I was doing some work uh, Friday and Saturday near where my parents live. Sure. So I drove down um, Friday. Yeah. And, and then Friday night we went out to have dinner together. You, know you and the fam. Mean? Me and the fam. Yeah. You uh, picking us up? I picked it up. Woo! What was, was the bill? It was really important to me to take. I, I understand. I wanted yeah, to course. take my family out to dinner. I have the same. I have the same feeling. What was the bill? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, it was only like uh, two fifty or something like that. <laughs> only two fifty. It the wasn't balls bad. on this guy. Two fifty. Listen, you ain't never. Don't say it's only two fifty to me. Okay. It's say it was two fifty. I'm really proud of it. Do not say only. I don't want people out there think I'm spending. I wouldn't like drop five hundred dollars or anything like well, that. Well, only two fifty makes it sound like you do drop two fifty oh, a lot. Oh, really? It was I, only two fifty. Two fifty is a lot for a din din. Huh? Yeah. Toby, got some champagne. <laughs> <laughs> some more bread for the boys too. <laughs> no, I meant it wasn't that bad. I know what you mean. Either way, that being here nor there. Um, you said your wife pulls the trigger. Who's, who's, damn. Your wife pulls heavy on the trigger. This is the first time I've taken my parents out to dinner, I think, ever. Yeah, I've never taken my parents out to dinner. Yeah, so it was important. I'll buy her a drink if we're out at the bu- if we're at the pub or something. I'll buy her around. We're going we're going round for round. But, you know. Let her wet her beak a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, all right. She, but she gets one, I get one. But it was important for me to. Order the shots on her. To you know do what it. I mean? Obviously, they didn't want me to. And they were like, my dad's like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, sure. Like, it, you- it means a lot for you. Yes. I yes. went down the shore with uh, for like Easter and we went out. I'm like, I'm getting the booze. I'm getting the. Pe-. Like, it was like the night before Thanksgiving. Not Thanksgiving. The You're night handing before- out solo cups? Well, no. It was like we were going to liquor store for the weekend. And I'm like, I got it. I got it. Like, let me. I'm like, I've been riding the fucking coattails sure, for sure, 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 34 sure, sure, years. Sure, sure. Let Kippy spend a little bit of cage. But I was thinking. About, um, you know, because obviously there was an announcement made before the meal. Get whatever you want. <laughs> Uncle Hank's, Uncle Hank's take. Sure, care. and you were probably very overbearing throughout the meal about that. Ridiculous. Because uh, that's just, that's, that's, you're overbearing to, be, I love you, you're overbearing to begin with, but then when you are taking care of something, you're very, nah, get the extra one, get two of them. Hey, Dad, don't forget the bread. Blah, I, blah, blah. I ordered all the appetizers. All of them in the country? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take them all. I said, is there anything anybody specifically wants? Let's get some muscle started. Let's get some. Which is these. very, I'm not taking so, away. It's very nice of you. Yes, very, very some nice of, these, of you. Some of these, some of these, some of these, some of that. Da, da. So, I, you know, I said, we get whatever you want. Now, I was thinking, okay, because you just said your wife, like, say your wife goes out to dinner with your family. Yeah. All right. Let's say she orders second or third. Does she match the price or does she just order whatever the fuck she feels like? Because I think that's what you were getting at. You said she'll pull the trigger on. No, I'm whatever. saying with me and her. Uh, okay. Um Because I was I was We're not go she'll get Yeah, I don't th- And I'm just using her not her Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. Role. I don't know. I've never th- So here's my question. I don't know. The parents got a little bit of cash to throw around. Sure, so here's fun. my question. Is it garbage that you threw two hundred and fifty dollars around into Carabas? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How many Big Macs was that? <laughs> Two fifty and Big Macs ain't that much. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, especially if you're getting a super sized meal, they get you. They don't screw around. McDonald's ain't cheap. Um, is it garbage to like to, to to over to you order the most expensive thing on the menu if you're not paying for it? 
I think it's tacky, yes. Right. It depends on it also depends on who you're with. So that's you know what I did? What? I ordered the most expensive thing on the menu so everybody set- felt comfortable. Do you th- <laughs> <laughs> I got the blooming onion. <laughs> <laughs> It was I'll a, take two orders of the mozzarella sticks uh, as an entree. Can you put them on one plate, please? And is that trash? I'm sure you've done that because you're a weird little fat <laughs> What? Order an appetizers as your entree. Yeah, what am I, a fucking jerk That's off? A of course. Man. The chicken. I just want the potato skins. Oh, yeah. Shit, dude. I'm, you no know, broccoli. Oh, I would crush a fucking pea skin right now, dog. Crush a pea skin. Shout out to Fridays <laughs> doing it right. Friday, Saturdays, and Saturdays. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Um, Wait, I got a question for both you guys. Yo. Have you ever gotten the specials that were not on the menu that were read to you by the waiter? This yeah, was, of course you fuck. Yes. Never. This yeah. was a thing. The Ryan's blackout. That because there's something <laughs> going on. Don't even read them to me. I've never listened to I, a fucking I hate special. Those fucking tables. I've never listened to a special. I go, yeah, zip, You're zip nuts. it. Save it. If it ain't You're on a menu, nuts. if it ain't on a menu, I don't You're trust nuts. Why isn't it on the menu? My man. Because that's not the way it works because it's special. They have special ingredients that came in that day. They got it fresh. Well, if it's so good, it would be in the prime time. That's not the way <laughs> it works. Saying. Yeah. I'm not man. saying it ain't good. T-Bone, I, I, you're, you're trash. Yeah. That's trash. Both of you. I'm, Come on. Welcome to the show, you baby. I'm not sitting here like a fucking Rockefeller. You get the special. I might have done it once or twice if I hear it on the fucking rip right away. If I go, ooh, that's it. I'm done. I'm pulling the trigger on that. I've done it once or twice at a really nice place. They don't tell you the numbers on those, though. That, that's how they get you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and if I, I've, it's I, not a it's not I, a money thing. I just think we were. I grew up in a household where I'm like, we're not. That's for fancy people. That's for. That ain't us. Give me the fucking goulash and the, you know, give me the soup and the soup and the salad or whatever. Well, that I, ain't us. I always listen to the specials. I make eye contact. I, I do. Hear it no, out. I, oh, okay. Oh, you know, the crab. That sounds not. But and we don't I'm fuck inter- with it. If I'm interested in something, I ask how much it is. That usually pisses off my girlfriend because that's trash. You can't be asking how much the special is. No. What do you mean? If they don't tell you, have a little tape. Have a little tack. Uh, how much are the soft shells? Oh, 45? Oh, okay. Uh, we'll keep looking. Okay, I'll, t- I'll take the chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Two lemons and a Diet Coke. We'll need, we'll need a couple more minutos here, my friend. Yeah. Um, so that was, I was curious about that. I was very nice to cook them I would never over. I would never step over. But it's also like if someone's... But I wanted to set that tone. I wanted to make sure everyone hey, felt comfortable. feel free. Yeah. Plus, hey. I wanted to fillet. I'm not my fucking jerk off. Yeah. I'm um, not getting the fucking strip like an asshole. It is nice to to finally not have to worry about, like, this bill is going to be 70% sure. of my net worth. And that was it. That was the celebratory dinner. Now it's, it's back to business, back I to work. Relax. Jesus right. Christ. I can't back out here for you folks. <laughs> Dude, you're allowed to have a dinner with your family. Relax. Am I? Now we know why we spent 20 minutes before the show full of going, wait. So, like, how does the money from the sh- live shows uh, break yeah. down? Because I had a bit of a bill on my hands. And yeah. fucking TGI Friday. Meanwhile, you're sniffing around the fucking, you're sniffing around the corporate bank account. All because you fucking blew it on oysters or whatever. <laughs> He, you were hitting me up for money like I owed you money. Like, dude, the way you were asking questions. I, I blew my tootie stipend <laughs> for the money. Dude, the I'm, way you were by grilling By the way, me, I'm back to zero now. Just so everybody knows. The way you were grilling me on expenses and I income. Was it was like, I was like, dude, am I doing something wrong? I'm like looking at Toby. I'm like, what's going on? Hang on. You know, it's a little dicey, too, I don't like. Um, <laughs> is it the treadmills. <laughs> when you I use, don't trust them. When you use your card to fucking buy. To, to, pay the bill the tip doesn't go on it immediately oh they got you coming and going on so that I got about 20- you get whacked on tuesday for that one i got 25 percent of 250 out there <laughs> fucking waiting to fucking Lingering. bang me over the head yeah. Aha! like a sock like a sock full of nickels <laughs> <laughs> fucking catch you while you're sleeping i'm sweating out they with that thing that's out overnight uber does that too don't well, think i'm not well, up when's on that? that gonna drop yeah they get just you. put it on there right now i want to get it all in front of me <laughs> no let me know what i'm fucking working with i got yeah. fucking four ipas in me you think i'm gonna remember 22 percent yeah. Not happening. Yeah, I gotta fucking check my six on Thursday. Come on, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Check your Christ. six was a big line of the fucking the first leg of the tour too. We were saying that to Holyo. Check your fucking six. Yikes. Woo. Yeah, I made a lot of hairy game time decisions with a couple pending transactions. Oh, oh man. That's what I love about Navy Federal. The second that you use it, Army D. <laughs> the second that you use it, they keep it. They keep they keep it right in front of you, man. Keep it right in front of you. 
It's great. Uh, Fully, what do you got in your bank account? <laughs> Cannonballs and spices? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of anchors. <laughs> a few shillings. Uh, <laughs> Are time. you going to make a deposit today? <laughs> <laughs> Guy who had the fillet. <laughs> Wait, is the banker the waiter too? Um, I haven't fleshed it out yet. I, this one's for me. And have you? I was going <laughs> to charge him for an overdraft fee, but he invoked the right to parlay. <laughs> <laughs> we got to sit down and hash it out. No quarter this month on the interest rates. <laughs> we could do this all day. Come sure. on. Uh, we used to do this on Center City Comedy back in the day when you first got the Navy <laughs> Federal account. That's, watch out for our new podcast, Aria Pirate. <laughs> Thought that was going to hit really hard. I mean, we just said we've been doing the same joke for 45 seconds. Fair enough. Um, all right, this is from Ian. Have you ever asked an Uber driver if it's okay to smoke? That's Ian Finance, I would assume. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Um, Why well, I used to do it with taxis was big. Religiously. It, especially on a Friday in Philly. Night. Cool if I smoke in here? What? Yeah, get in. They light one up with you. They bum what? one, give you the lighter. Back in the day with a couple of fucking toot, 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 toot rootskis in you? Early 2000, uh, like, you know, probably 2006. To probably, I don't even know. Philly was still kind of lawless. Nothing better than smoking in a cab on a Friday night when you got a couple of things in you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, that was when fucking... you got a couple of couple of couple of things in, rattling around. In inside. New York, you couldn't do it with an Uber. It's too. It's not nah. their car. It's too regulated. But I've taken Ubers on the road in like Michigan and shit. Yeah, where smoking. that guy goes, you care if I smoke? I go, <laughs> buddy, have at it. That's the real question. Have yeah. you ever had a cab driver ask if it's you, okay if you, you smoke? smoke? Yeah. Garbage. I've had that for sure. Trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no. Uh, Shit, I remember fucking crushing whippets in the back of a fucking cab doing fucking 55 up the fucking FDR back in the day. Are you, that's, Cut that? Yeah, I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> fucking guy playing it fast and loose. Um, all right. Uh, this one's from Eddie Davis. First time question. Has anyone in your family... Or you washed and then dried and reused a paper towel or napkin? I'm sorry, what? Has anyone in your family or you washed, then dried and reused a paper towel or napkin? No. That's disgusting. I, okay. But you can, do, what? what? <laughs> so when I wash and dry my hands... Uh huh. I'm not intentionally. Wait, why are you drying your hands with a paper towel? Don't you have a fucking hand towel in the bathroom? Yeah, but sometimes no. Like if I'm in the if I, I wash my hands in the kitchen, if I come in from outside, okay. Or like if I'm cooking or something, okay. And like I'm like, oh, I got something, I got to rinse, and I'll do that, okay. And I'll sometimes keep it around. Oh no, yeah, that's okay. And then reuse it. But again. you're not fucking like hanging it to dry like a towel. I'm not doing a load of fucking load of bounties downstairs in the basement <laughs> like a fucking jerk off. I got a load of paper towels and wait a minute. <laughs> That's a real delicate cycle. Uh, you yeah, you got to do that on cold. Nah, that's trash. I've yeah. never seen that, but every one of my everyone I know has has about nine hundred Chipotle napkins. In sure, a drawer somewhere. Oh, sure, yeah, I'm a yeah, big yeah, listen. Yeah. Keep your napkins, gang. You're fucking. You're you're doing good for the environment. Sometimes you get hemmed up. You need them. Keep them. I can't, dude. Anytime I get napkins, I throw a fucking stack in the glove in the glove box. Yeah. So if I fucking sneeze on the turnpike and I got bugs all over my face or on my hands, I don't want to put that on the wheel. I fucking lean over, pull it out, clean up. And sure. Keep it. We moving. talked about this. I think it's trashy a little bit to keep a roll of paper towels in the car. That's ridiculous. It's great. Great. It's great, but if limo can, drivers do that, so I know, I but you're no limo driver. It just seems a little. I, I keep, don't know. I keep that. I keep uh, uh, Armor All glass cleaner, and I keep a, a tube of Armor All wipes in my car all times, all times. I guess I was in there. It was a little hurt, and you could use a. You could use a. a, a I'm getting. A squeege. Your, I'm getting your detailed on Monday. I'm getting your detailed. And what are you gonna do when you? Okay. What? Tell me when you return that thing. You're smoking Bernies in there. Uh, no, I wasn't. Yeah, I know. That's what you asked me. You said, no, well, bring it up, so I brought it up. <laughs> no, I wasn't if you work at Conicelli Auto. <laughs> <laughs> the Bozo's down there at Conicelli <laughs> Nissan. At J.P. Kennedy Nissan and Chrysler. Um, that's the details. Okay. You get that out. I'm not smoking in mine. No? No. Okay. Folks. Let's, what do you take the over on? What? Do, what? Do, let's. I'll be. I'll be. You're I'll smoking be, in there unless you quit I'll tonight. I'll be truthfully honest with you. When I do, if I do, I will 100. Let's put it a, a how many days or when a date. 
You're smoking in that car by the end of the summer. No way. No doubt about no it. No way. Dude, why? You, oh, is that the date? Is that the over under we want to pull? What are you going to be the Irishman and fucking pull over to have a cigarette? What's it? So Labor Day is what we're saying. Before Labor September. What, Bef- so Garen, August 31st. All the driving the back and forth to the shore. You're lying now. You've smoked in that I, car. I for sure haven't. One <laughs> million percent I haven't. Okay. I'm telling you, it's a new Labor kippy. Day. Labor Day. Well, it's September 1st, he's saying. Two grand. You, what, oh, you put money on it? Two grand. No, you pay us two grand if you, if you don't. What do I do it? if I do it? What do I get if I do it? Good on you. <laughs> yeah, no, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fucking bozo bet. Um, all right, this is uh, Resist the Great Reset. Uh, have you ever used anything other than a belt to support your pants? I believe I have. Yeah. Yeah. Shoelace. A lot. One shoelace will get around you, though? Three shoelaces. <laughs> Three sets of shoes. <laughs> big, big skater thing back in the day. Yeah. Shoelace, so you don't have the belt buckle. Slap, yeah. Slap, slapping around lightweight. Ugh. I, uh, I'm sure I've done something in a jam. I think I use a, uh, especially when we used to like work construction and stuff in college, it would be like if your belt broke or whatever, you had to do like an extension cord or something or like wire or whatever. If your pants are falling down, you're doing manual labor. Guys are grabbing at you so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Doing pressed hams. Uh, no, like your pants would be falling down, and mm-hmm. you'd have to do something. I for sure remember doing something on, like, on the fucking on job sites, but um, never like to a fucking never to school or something. I used to wear my football belt all the time. You know the little, of course you did. They're like nylon. Yeah, and yeah. They with have those the two, two little loops. hooks. Yeah, those are great. You remember? Oh, sorry. And, I, and I'd go in, and then you fold it over, and it hangs down a little. Bit. A little bit. That was big. Do you remember? These were cool. like. These were big back in the that, day. That pair of fucking nice Timberlands with your jeans cuffed and your fucking football jersey on on a Friday before a game. Fucking. I thought you were a fucking Johnny it. Cool guy. Joe High School over here. Until you got smacked around in the field. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. You're fucking. Uh, you don't know where you are. The cheerleaders are fucking rolling their eyes. <laughs> you're lining up next to them. <laughs> Blue 42. They're going, go, team, go. They're, what the fuck? Foley's out to lunch again. <laughs> Go Buffaloes. Uh, what was big back in the day, I remember one summer or whatever, it was like a fab, but they were like hand-woven, colored, kind of like Native American or South American, like uh, woven belts. Braided belts? Not braided. I know exactly what you're talking braided about. Were t- braided were dope, too, and you would flip them down through the fucking thing. They braided, were big. A braided belt, you're asking to get beat up. Those they were big, stuck. especially in like the skater world. The braided belt was big. And then there was the other one. Uh, I think they called them like military belts. They had like the they were the, oh, the my brass dad, buckle. Dude, How fucking those. dope were those? My dad used to wear them all the time for his Navy uniform. <laughs> I love those things. You geek out. For a Navy uniform. <laughs> I love those. Slide it in and you slide, slide the thing, the thing down. Yeah. They were big when it, we were. They were big when you were a little kid and they were big when you. Would, in would, junior high, they hit. And yeah. there was this place, Mr. Rags opened up in the Oxford Valley Mall. It was like this <laughs> wannabe Pacific Sunwear type thing. Mr. I don't know Rags. if it was, I don't know if it was a national chain or whatever, but Mr. Rags. And they had, like, the UFO pants and, like, you know, the cool fucking, the cool shit that you wanted as a fucking 13 or 12-year-old or whatever it was. And they had, you got to pick your own buckle, and then they would, they had just wheels of that, and like, nylon, not nylon, or whatever it is. Good. Yeah, because it had teeth on the thing. <laughs> well, the teeth, yeah. When so, that thing went bad, though, it, yeah, you were done. You were done. Yeah. So... You would make your own in any color you want, dude. And that hit. We all there's like, like a bunch of fucking dorks. That's pretty sick. Seventeen dudes all went into Mister Rags and all bought the same fucking military belt or whatever they're yeah, called. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. You felt like a fucking king rocking that, that thing. That ain't too fucking shabby, right there. Those things were fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, I was a suspenders guy for a minute. No really? belt, but suspenders. Yeah, for like a half a minute, suspenders were cool. I remember wearing suspenders to high school at one point with jeans. Man. Rough week. Sigs in your fucking sleeve. Who does that? What was that? What fad was that based on? It was like, you know, I was a... I like was, the swing or something? The swing? Like, remember when swing got cool? No, I wasn't a rockabilly. It was like... It, well, you just told me you wore fucking... Dude, you just told me you wore fucking... I, Michael J. Fox wore them in fucking Back to the Future. Is that what you were basing it? I'm asking... Yeah, what's what do the, you mean, man? He was pretty fucking cool. I'm not, I'm not saying he wasn't. I'm saying what was it based on? It was based on that. Michael J. Fox and Ferris Bueller. That's why I keep... I don't know if it's garbage, but I keep all my stuff. When I get in my car... 
I take everything out of my pockets. I know. My si- I put it all on the passenger and seat. And you lose it all the time. Well, you know why I do that. You always say, get up. Is there a lighter under you? Is, because, is there a hoagie under you? Because that's what Marty McFly did in the DeLorean. He put everything next to him. I love that. Crank the you power of love. Or no Marty <clears> McFly. <throat> More like a Marty McDonald's, am I right? <laughs> all right. Guys, we're having fun. Uh, dude, on stage in Raleigh, I made re- some really hacky, cheap fucking fat joke, and everybody's like, ah, oh. I'm like, this is what you pay for. <laughs> this is what keeps it going, maybe. Uh, Sorry, I'm sniffing. Allergies. Uh, yeah, have a sip of water. Your throat's a little dry there. Yeah, I'm sorry. mine too. I'm hurting. The burnings ain't helping either. Um, all right, this is from uh, Brandon Hundley. It just says five second rule question mark. Mm. Which I don't yes. know. Are you? You do play by the five second rule? Sigs on the street. No. Yes. I'm, what? I drop a cig. I'm picking it up. Pan that New York pandemic. You're picking a cig up off the sidewalk. Not one single fucking person. From fucking Beijing to fucking Delaware has gotten fucking coronavirus from fucking you don't picking know up that? a cig off the street. You don't know that? I got people in the WHO. I talked to them. The who? WHO. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Kippy's too quick over here. Gunslinger. I talked to Baba O'Reilly. Uh, now, I'm weird with food. It's got to be in my house. I'll do it. If something drops, it can't be wet. My, my thing is. It can't be wet. Wet, wet on carpet. Is a no-no. Uh, that comes picks up, up all fuzzy. You got dog hair. You don't even have a dog. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck? Yeah, it comes up with five o'clock shadow. I ain't doing that. No. Nah, in the kitchen, if I drop like a pretzel nugget or something, I'll go for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You also do the real fucking dirty. It's dirty and it's super trashy. If you bump, I don't pack my SIG. So when I give Foley a SIG out of my pack, he takes it and then just bangs it on whatever... Solid, like it could be a door, it could be someone else's car, it could be a fucking it's fire hydrant. Bananas. It's so gross, dude. You know what else I do? Also, I, it's crazy that you don't pack your six. I'm old school, baby. You know what else uh, I think I'm starting to realize is trashy that I do. I don't know if anybody else does it, but if I'm eating at a restaurant and something falls off my plate, I'll take it off the table and eat it. Yeah, it's trashy. Is it? It depends how quick and what it is and what the table is, but yeah, probably. Yeah, like I mean, it could be it could be like a little piece of macaroni salad. I'm picking that up and I'm eating that on a tablecloth or just a table. Where are you eating it as a tablecloth? I go to nice places. You do? Yeah. No, right I'm not eating table. anything off a wooden. I'm not eating anything oh, off yeah. a table. Yeah, I'll eat it. Ooh. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. Nope, not for Kippy. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Not for Kippy. Um, all right, this next one's from Brian. Have you ever oh, used... Wait, 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 one second. Sure. Sorry to completely derail it. Uh, you said macaroni salad? Macaroni salad versus potato salad, who wins? I don't fuck with either one of them. Yeah, I'm nuts. I'm getting both. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck... Yeah, yeah I don't I'm know. Not, I'm, I'm not splitting those up, causing trouble between those two. You crazy? Start a civil war in the Foley house. Yeah, I want the fucking peculiar platter with the fucking egg salad, mac salad, coleslaw. I love all that shit. All that shit. All that. Uh, I'll eat Waldorf salad until my fucking face falls up. Okay. Chicken, walnuts, and fucking uh, grapes. Dumbledore. <laughs> a little bit of celery. Love all those prepared salads. Yeah. Great. Um, Macaroni salad, brain supreme. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, it doesn't do it. I don't like cold stuff, really. You're weird. You're, <laughs> you're weird. Just has a blanket. Yeah, I don't like a lot of. Am I, I like. I like what are you, my heating up your peanut butter and jelly? I like my stuff. Psycho. I like. My, everybody knows I just do Can peanut you put butter. Put it in a microwave, please. Look, you haven't lived till you had hot ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have a deep fried? No. Yes. Yeah, I know you, buddy. Come we on. talked about it. I know. I even if we didn't talk about it, I could have. I, 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 I would have put pretty good money on the. Shout out to fried, Chi-Chi's in their deep fried ice cream. Fried ice cream. Um, a lot of Korean places do it too. They, <coughs> they have fried ice cream. Um, great, good. awesome. Um, yeah, I just don't do cold. I don't do cold stuff that's supposed to be warm. If that makes sense. What's Potatoes supposed are warm? supposed to be warm. <laughs> you draw I some baked, weird I know. lines in the sand, I know, man. man. I know, dude. Strange I know. Kid. I know. I know. I don't know why either. I'm sure I, I, I'm sure I would love it. I just not. Should be hanging out it. with Eleven in the gang. This kid's <laughs> cuckoos. I get a nosebleed. 
<laughs> every time I throw out a softball that I think's going to be a little band, a little back and forth, I like this, I like this. It comes to like, I don't fucking do that. Yeah. And if you do that around me, you're going to get stamped. <laughs> sure, no. Hey, have all the max salad you want. It's just Ice not tea or lemonade, only if it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, I'm not a fucking jerk off. I like an ice cold beverage. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Um, also, shout out to, I think his name was JP. He was he was drinking in the fucking parking lot of Zany's before. Brought an IPA for the kids. Ran, ran, ran up to me and gave me an IPA. He goes, oh, here you go. Fucking, so sweet. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. How about a shout out to the kid in the airport? Oh, shit, yeah. Can, we'll I see got, you in Boston, young we'll man. We'll see you in Boston, buddy. I got straight up By the way, you could have stopped by the can and said hello to Uncle Hank. <laughs> yeah. Kid, kid fucking ran up behind me. He's like, hey, man, big fan. Took a pic. Everything looked at him. He goes, oh, so you're the other guy. He goes, no, I'll get it. <laughs> uh, but you're yeah, shout out. You're skinnier in person than I thought. Airport recognized is pretty fucking cool. Nice. I was a fucking, that was a week changer for me. A week changer. That was in the John. I, I was like, where the fuck were you last night? We could have used you. <laughs> fucking juice the numbers a little bit. <laughs> Keep the guys on the coast happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, where was I? All right, this is from Brian. Uh, have you ever used a water bottle holder on your bicycle as a beer holder? Why am I drinking on a bike? Every vacation I've ever been on, I've drank on a bike. Really? Every time I go down to the shore, we got, we got the beach cruisers with the cup holder, couple of pops in there. I don't do bikes. <laughs> I'm more of a golf cart guy. <laughs> we got the golf cart, too. I think Takes every beer I've ever consumed on a bike was shotgunned. Shotgun and on, a, on the bike yeah. while you're riding? Yeah. What kind of bike did you have in Chicago? I bet it was really annoying. Probably a lot of tape on it. Fixie or something. Not a fixie, single speed. Single speed, no fixie. Was it the was it a ten speed that had the 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 the, the horns that go down? No, no, no drop handles. It wasn't ten speed, it was a single speed, it had the like just regular T bar handles. T bar. T bar for a T bone. Wait, single speed. What do you th- is, was it a mountain bike or a BMX bike? Uh it's a road bike. What does that mean? I'm out I don't know either. Does it look like a mountain bike? No. I think what you call a mountain bike, yes. It's not a BMX bike. No. Yeah, so it's a mountain bike. To him, it's a mountain bike. To me as well. It's a mountain bike. Either way. If you pulled up with that, I'd go, look at the dork on the mountain bike. That's what I would say. Either way, get out of traffic. (laughs) Take that shit on the sidewalk. I'm (laughs) late for work. Hey, buddy, hit the park. I got a pod to do. Uh, Yeah, it was a big. We do it. uh, We go over and visit my wife, too, because you're allowed to just drink in, uh, in public over there. So we'd like ride to the water, get some beers on the ride, a couple of, you know, I open know it that. up, hop in, a couple of pops. Yeah. But to qu- yes, it's trash. I mean, come on. I think it's good, clean fun. No, it's trash. I mean, it's trashy if you're like, you got like a fucking I think, I think riding hand. bikes is trash. That's nuts. I mean, well, that's the most insane statement. Gross. Riding bikes is trash? Yeah, man. Come on. What are you doing? Adults riding bikes? Get out of here with that. It's a good time. It's exercise. Gets the blood pumping. You don't have to look for parking. I'm not saying in New York. You ride a bike in New York, you're a fucking goob. But you're down ashore in Wildwood. Come on. Yeah, maybe I'll Cruising take a, down surf. Maybe you got I'll the wind be- at your hair. You're going down to the beach. All right. We're going to get some clam strips. You got a boogie like board under your arm, an IPA. Hanging out. All right. I can see that. Good time. Got the beach cruiser with the big handles. Who's stopping at a crab cake? Got a little basket. Fucking got gentlemen. tunes bumping on your phone. All right. Come on. I like it. Not bad. Not too shit. Well, we got to stop somewhere for lunch. Yeah, of course. That's where we're going. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, come on. Ride a bike to lunch and fucking lock it up out front. Can you get, can you get arrested for riding a bike drunk, uh, Toby? Drunk you can, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've ridden a bike. Hammer hammered. Uh, I never ran into an issue. Yeah, no, they can. I got pulled over on a skateboard one time on Elson Avenue at a for fucking shredding too goddamn hard. <laughs> and this is why Them trucks are smoking. This is what led me to my like just just shotgun to get it over with. If you're out in public, was I was skating, finishing Tall Boy PBR. Shout out to Kip, big fan of the Tall Boy PBR, big fan. Uh, I've been living in Chicago for about five years at the time. Cop pulled me over and was like, yo, you can't be drinking in the street. And I just, like, kicked my skateboard up. It's just like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. I'm from Florida. <laughs> Pretty good excuse. <laughs> and the cop was like, all right, uh, on, your, on yeah. your way. Have a good one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we got a few more here. Uh, this is from Ryan. Uh, have you ever been kicked off the go-karts for crashing into people? Yeah. That was big back yeah. in the day. Trading paint, the little rubbing, rubbing yeah. is racing, baby. We were really bad. Yeah, I've had get to out. Die. I couldn't do it if my parents were there, like at that age, because no. I'd get fucking reamed for acting a fucking for acting a fool in public. Yeah, but 
When me and the boys went up by ourselves, different. We ball. got yeah, it was fucking yeah. lawless. Yeah, it was, I was. It was, it was like, Thunder Road. It was Tokyo Drift out that motherfucker. You know, it's real embarrassing. I remember the first couple of times I rode go karts, or I couldn't or bumper cars. I couldn't figure it out. You ever have the dirt ball have to get up and stand on, on the your, side, and fucking steer? Yeah, while you're crying like eh, I can't eh. do it. Yeah, Ain't yeah. That. It was always a big thing, too, when you were in the bumper cars and you got moved up from you and your parent to just you driving well, by yourself. I was, say, that I was like getting your learner's permit. That was that was a real tough look and really defined your, your self-esteem is when if you and your father are in a go-kart together or in a bumper car together and you're getting owned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your dad can't get a hold of Ah, God damn it. Just give me a minute here. A tough, I think I got a bad wheel. That's a yeah. tough look, man. Also by somebody like, by like a 13-year-old or something yeah. who's just fucking, yeah. him and his good time buddies are fuck got you cornered and you're- Making fun of your dad. You're fucking hemmed up, man. Ah, it sucks. They got to come break it up. Tough Dude, look. They got a thing in Chicago called Whirly Ball. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> It's you like sh- you shotgun a fucking and handle a Soco and then you jerk off. No, it's it's a combination of bumper cars, lacrosse and basketball. You basically have like who a- does that? Who's- I hope when we get to Chicago, all the things you talk <laughs> about, everybody says, yeah, nobody does. That, here. <laughs> that, that be- guy's fucking lame. Yeah, they're, like, they're going to be like, if we pull into the airport and everybody goes, oh, fuck, Toby's back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll love it. Here comes Mr. Whirly Ball. <laughs> Okay, I'm not quick. Gonna, hide the PBRs. I'm not gonna lie, Whirly Ball. It sounds a lot. I, I was gonna give you the bitch. It's like okay. It's not great. Sure, but as like a concept, you could have stopped the excellent. Whirly Ball. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we didn't want to hear. We're gonna shoot that when we go to Chicago. Fully playing mean? Whirly Ball. I, that's what I was Foley. thinking. Is it would be good for a video? I mean, shoot me getting a hot dog because that's the only thing I'm doing. <laughs> Chai Town. I'm coming. Um, coming heavy. All right, let's do a couple of mo. Couple of mo here. Uh, this is a big one that I'm also... We should have done this earlier on when we were talking about this kind of stuff. This is from Caleb. Have you ever put your license or debit card spending cash in this, the, the cellophane of a pack of Bernie's as a makeshift wallet? That was also... That's a big beach move or like we were going tubing or fishing or whatever. If you don't have pie... If you're wearing basketball shorts, you take your 20, you slide it in the cellophane, your fucking debit card or license in there, whatever you need. And then the lighter goes in the pack. Now, the, the, the that's lighter, which is trash. That's the lighter a trash in the pack movie. is garbage. Trash, it's fucking food. garbage. But I've done it. Oh I've yeah. I've also put other nefarious items inside a pack of cigarettes while there were cigarettes in there. Then you got to go fishing around for it when you get to the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a trash move. Very. But also at the same time, you're going to the beach. That's what you do. I mean, you condense everything down to one fucking thing. Otherwise, yeah. you're losing your fucking. You know. It's also, it could be classy because you're prepared. A, I got my license, I got my debit card, and I also got my Bernie's. There we go. I'm a big hide everything at the beach, right in my shoes. <laughs> That's an old Seinfeld bit. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you put it, they're not going to find it if we put it at the front of the shoe. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I hide everything. Um, all right, this one's, this isn't the same thing. This is from Nick DeLuca. Shout out to Nicky Bones. Bones. Uh, have you ever asked for a specific color lighter at a bodega? All the time. What? That's Get the tra- fuck out of here. No, it's... What? Fuck yeah, it's you. Trashy. Get out of here. It's trashy. Sometimes I feel like pink. Sometimes I want black. Yeah, Sometimes but it shouldn't matter. That's what I'm saying. You just go give me... It's a functional thing. Give me a lighter. The fact that having an opinion and, like, attachment to it is, what? is trash. Wait, I have a great question. What? What color lighter is bad luck where you're from? Cause white. Ev- yeah, white. White everywhere. It's not everywhere. I've heard yellow in some other places, but Dude, white primarily. Yes. We got yeah, my buddy... play Whirly Ball. My buddy... We picked up my buddy I Ryan... Uh, to go to like oh, where the ball stinks. Yeah, where the ball stinks. You want to co-sign in your whirly ball? Fair enough. Uh, picked up my buddy Ryan, a couple other like two or three other people to go to fucking Six Flags one day. We were in like high school or something. I got the I got the ninety six Chevy Lumina paint chipping off. Real good look. Got the head unit installed with electrical tape. I no like big, it. No big deal. Okay. Probably got some fifty cent or G unit pumping. We're doing it. Kibby's okay, got a white tee, a fitted hat on backwards. We're hanging. We get it. You're a dork. Go. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, let me talk about the glory days. When Did you I, have your eyebrows on? When I was on? third string tight end or whatever the Did fuck. Did you have your were. eyebrows on? Yeah, I had my eyebrows okay. on. Yeah. Um, so we're getting a picture. But my buddy gets in with a white lighter. It was like very light gray. And I'm like, dude, he like, I'm like, oh, let me get a light. And he hands it to me. I'm like, dude, we're going on this trip. Like, this isn't fun. What do you do? Get this thing the fuck out of here. You guys, how you believe in oh that? God. Dude, we like 
Flat tire, ran out of gas. We finally make it there. We get in. We give them the tickets. We wait in line for like three hours to get to the front of, you know, Johnny. Mahoney got murdered. Johnny fuck fuck roller, like Batman or whatever the big roller coaster is. Dude, we are the next in line. And electrical storm, it gets stuck upside down. We have to turn around, leave the park. The second we leave the park, no readmittance. The sun, it's pouring rain. We get outside and get to the car. The sun comes out. Fucking park opens back up. We get we waited. It was like a seven hour trip. We didn't do anything. Blame that fucking lighter. Ever since, Dorks. I'll say anything but white is when I'm ordering a, when I'm getting a lighter up. No, I like to anything pick. but white. I like to pick. It's because you're trash. You know what's really trashy? The pack of matches and the pack of Bernies. That's that's Kippy's garbage. move. Ugh. I'm a big. I love Every, lighting Bernies all off the matches. All the smell like sulfur. That's no good. Love lighting this. The first drag of a fucking Bernie off a book of matches is to die for. What's your book of matches technique? Are you a flip over, keep attached, or are you a pull off and then flip the no. case? Pinch? The flipping the case he is uses trash. The old wooden ones. <laughs> the flipping of the case is trash. You you take it off, rip it out, close it, strike the back, do the this like this, hit it, shake it twice, toss it, rip and burn, baby. Matches are trash in general. I think they're classy and well, fucking, they're, they're evidence of a of a distinguished gentleman. What are you bear grills? Like, <laughs> the nice wooden ones. <laughs> Who's roll? I used I've rolled with those for sure. The oh, wooden he jones. was bear grills. He lighted cigs with a magnifying glass. Yeah. Did you ever did you ever light a cigarette with the uh, with the matchy the long matches for the fireplace? Yeah, the Dora Flame Jones? Yeah, for sure. No, not a Dora. Not a <laughs> no. starter log. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dora Flame. Dora what are you, Andre the Giant? <laughs> Lighting a whole pack? The grill lighter's a tough one. Have you ever been out somewhere and someone hands your grill light or like they had it in the car or something? It's on the ready in my parents' fi- in the smoking lounge at Patty's. Well, well I'm saying at the house is fine because there's a grill close, but I've had like gotten buddies' cars where I'm like, <laughs> they hit you with the fucking red grill lighter. Lighter from the front? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? All right, let's do one more here. Uh, let's do two more. This one's actually from the Facebook group. It's just a fucking home run real quick. Have you ever attended an OzFest? <laughs> Get out of here. No, no. OzFest, no Warp Tour, no Lollapalooza, no Woodstock. T-Bone's had to do a Warp Tour at some point. First concert, Warp Tour 2003, Charlotte, North Carolina, Dropkick Murphys, Andrew WK, Less Than Jake, fucking AFI, Stonk, Watch Davey Havoc get hit in the nuts with a shoe. One of the best things I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. I didn't know one fucking person you said there. Did, yeah. did one name. Um, Not all right. one. Did, how many Monster Energy drinks did you have? <laughs> Not a couple Red Bulls. Though. Let me tell you what, those were all right. I hate a monster. Love a sugar-free Red Bull, though. Love, me too, buddy. I love you. I, you and I are kindred spirits on that. Love a sugar-free Red Bull. Yeah, they're not the they're not the enemy that people made them out to be. Because let me tell you something: Red Bull hits you slower than coffee, and I think they're better for you. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I, just, I don't have the uh, scientific research to back it up. I'm Plus not a big Red Bull guy. You ever, you, ever, you ever crush a Red Bull when you're thirsty? Dude, Red Bull's Dangerous. my favorite soda. So. <laughs> Put it in my cereal with the homies. The homies. I like my soda with my homies. With the homies. I like my red sugar-free Red Bull sodas with the homies. I would like to see how long Toby could like spit out a spiel, but she was pretty close to the Warp Tour, where it's all his lingo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I had a Red Bull with the homies at the Warp Tour with Andrew W. Do, 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 do. We did an Ollie and a bup, 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 bup. <laughs> I don't know if Ollie's his lingo, but no. Whatever. All right. Let's. Uh, this is the last one. Um, this is from Alessandro. Alessandro. First time question here. Thank you, buddy. Ever rent a movie from a red box? <laughs> 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 that, my friends, is what I call a home run. Red box is, was, and always will be trash. How do you get it back in there? I don't know. I've done it one Do time. Do you keep it? I think you keep those. No, 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 no. You return them. I did it one time. I remember I was living in, me and my, me and my, my buddy had rented a townhouse in Bucks County like right after college. It was like we had our first jobs and it was like a Sunday night late and we were like, oh, let's get a movie or something. So he's like, let's go to Red Box. And to me, I'm like, what the fuck is, what are we doing? Going to a vending machine outside of 7-Eleven and sure shit, we were there and it gives you a fucking move. And I remember then, I'm like, I don't know what this is. It seems pretty convenient, but I want no parts of it, and I will not be a Redbox family. I've never said this out loud, 
okay, but it's something that I still think of to this day. Causes oh, me, he's trying to get Pringles out of it. Causes, <laughs> causes me an insane amount of anxiety, and it's it's why sometimes I snap in certain situations. But for some reason, the Seven Eleven by my house had like a video vending machine. This was mid eighties, really. 80, 80, I don't know why. Early eighty four, eighty five, where you had to you go in. You, 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 it's in a vending machine. All right, and you saw the movie, you pressed it, came out. But you had to have this card. It had to be like with the company or whatever. Like you the- had to have this card that you put money on. But we didn't know that. So it was me and my dad. Fucking long week of work. He's in his uniform, stuff like that. And I'm like, when was your movie? I want to watch your movie. I want to watch your movie. So he takes me over there, and we spend like an I I mean honestly an hour looking at movies, trying to figure out which one we want. And then all we- at the machine. All at the machine. How many movies could it have been huge. in there? It was like literally the size of like the wall. It was like like the entire candy aisle. Okay. This machine was there. Okay. It was either like West Coast was closed or Blockbuster Something, hadn't yeah. fucking gotten there yet. And um, I remember like at one point my friend's mom was in there. She's like, what are you guys doing? We're looking for a movie or something like that. But we when we went to go get the movie, we found out that we had to have this special card. That you didn't have. And for some reason, I felt so embarrassed. I don't know. I just felt like a loser. Yeah. That I, you know, I, like I, I just felt... Terrible, you know, and the fact that my dad was with me was like even worse. It was, it's like, and it's crazy, but it's like one of those things I still think about to this day. Sure, and never would I fucking go to a red box because, because of that. that. Yeah, I yeah, look yeah. at them and I'm like, you're not fucking getting me twice. Yeah, you're not gonna get me today, video not, v- movie vending machine. Yeah, not me and my old man. <laughs> uh, fuck you. It's yeah, not happening. Yeah, 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 a move yeah, yeah. that I guarantee a listener has done is you get a red box, you scan it, you scan the disc, and then you print off the thing that has like the QR code that, scan- that the machine scans and you put it back in. You put that slip of paper back in the case, put it back in the red box, get a fucking video game or a flick for a dollar. I, I, a couple times I got a thing out of a red box and it was just a slip of paper and I was like, you motherfucker! Oh, yeah, Why? Why you. would it be a slip of paper? Because the, it had like they have like a barcode on there that the machine scans, so then it knows what's in the machine. Oh, they put it back in the case. Yeah. Oh, you pieces of shit. Yeah. Oh, if that, I'd, I'd fucking smash the machine if that happened, especially after the childhood trauma. I just, I just sure confessed to you. Sure. There Those was things are trash. There was uh, the trashiest thing my town had was there was a uh, bait machine, like a bait vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was live bait? Yeah. Because the like who feeds the worms. <laughs> What do you mean? Who feeds the worms? How do they stay alive? They stay alive in like the dirt that they're in. What about the, what about like fresh air and stuff? I think there's holes in the thing. I mean, it's not like a hermetically sealed fucking vending machine. This guy's buying dead worms. <laughs> you ain't, ain't going to catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> catch a cold. But uh, yeah, we used to go to that because like the place didn't want to. The place that sold bait, I think its name was Robinsons or something. It was like a tackle, like a gun and tackle store. They weren't open because people would go fishing at like fucking. 6 a.m. Yeah, or whatever, yeah, and they would yeah. go like, "Yeah." So they just had a bait vending machine. I remember That's thinking disgusting. that was—I remember thinking that was the coolest thing in the world, dude. I'd be like, "Yo, Dad, can we stop and get some night crawlers? Let's go!" <laughs> just for the fun of it. Yeah, Kippy night needs ca- a Kippy needs a new pet. I didn't fuck with night crawlers. Big night crawler guy. No. I think I said this one time. Too close to a snake for for, for, <laughs> for, for, for the foldies. No, I don't like that. <laughs> you gotta, your dad's got a pair of night crawler they boots. They had that weird band aid on them too. Yeah. Remember what the you hook them real good. Oh, you get God. it in there. It's got the rough little They're feel to it. Skin. Yeah. No, thank you. I think I talked about it, and then we got to get out of it. I talked about it one time. We went up the mountains and for like a fishing trip. We always like big, like freshwater, like rivers and lakes and stuff. Like that's what we did a lot. We went up to the mountains and we were like staying on this lake and we took the hose and at night we sprayed the outside backyard dirt. To get slugs? To get the worms to come out because they move in the rain. So then they all came out and we went and picked up the fucking worms. What the fuck? I think we only found like two, by the way. You ever put salt on a slug? Yeah, I've done that. That's fucked up. Yeah. That's like war crimes. That's <laughs> real bad. All right, let's wrap you're it up. You're out there salt and slugs. Yeah, you got yeah, you're just, you're not stopping there. Salt and slugs and drawn out worms. Yeah, so next thing you know the- you're freezing grannies. <laughs> You got anything for him, Kip? That's it, baby. Uh, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe, the whole nine yards, iTunes, Patreon, uh, YouTube. I'm at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Also, please follow the Are You Garbage pages on Instagram and Twitter. And, guys, honestly, again, thank you 
so fucking much from the bottom of from our the hearts. bottom of our hearts. The Patreon, Raleigh, fucking, Nashville. We, we just we hit a big you. milestone on Patreon this week. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for everybody coming out. It means literally the fucking world to us. I feel corny because I keep saying that, but it's so fucking I know. true. We don't, we don't mean to throw it down. Your Thank throat, you so we much. Appreciate it. Yeah. And get those fucking ticks, gang. Gonna AC is going to sell out. We're already like 70. It's not for another fucking two months, and it's like 75% full. Fucking so get those fucking ticks. Summer of garbage. Fucking yeah. come see us. We love you. Peace. Peace.